Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson in my beginner piano course level one. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. In this episode, we're going to expand our range of notes on the staff or stave, and we're going to learn notes beyond the five notes that we've been using in the previous lessons. As I said, if you know that the second line in the treble clef is a G and the fourth line in the bass clef is an F, you can technically work out every single note in the stave just by going up by step or going down following steps. However, sometimes this could take a really long time to work out certain notes which are really far away from the reference note in the treble clef or bass clef. So while we get used to more notes in the stave, we can learn a couple of sentences to help our Job. So let's have a look at first the right hand and see if we can come up with some sentences that's going to make it much easier to identify notes. Now, as you can see in the treble clef, we have five lines going from the bottom to the top and the notes on these lines are E, G, B, D, F. So they're all a skip away from each other and the E is right above middle C. It might be a little bit difficult to memorize E, G, B, D, F, but if you come up with a sentence for it, then it might be much easier to memorize that. Now, one of the most common sentences used is every good boy deserves food. So if you learn this sentence, every good boy deserves food, the first letter of each word is going to be a line from the bottom. So every, E, the first line, good, G, the second line, boy, B, the third line, deserves, D, the fourth line, food, F, the fifth line, then you can easily work out each note just by using the sentence quickly. So for example, if there is a note on the third line and you don't know what it is, you go every good boy, third line, it's a B. Now, obviously you don't have to use this specific sentence. You can come up with any sentence that's easier for you to memorize or relate to as long as the first letter of each word corresponds to the notes in the stave. Now let's learn a second sentence for the spaces in between the lines. Now the lines might be enough because you can just use the lines as stepping stones and go up or down a step for the spaces. But if you want to learn a sentence for the spaces, it's a really, really easy one. It's face, just like your face. So F-A-C-E, we've got four spaces from the bottom to the top. The first space is F, the second space is A, the third space is C and the last space is E, so face. And these are the sentences or reference landmark notes for the right hand or treble clef to be more accurate. Now let's have a look at the left hand or bass clef and let's learn two sentences for that too. So the lines in the bass clef, similarly to a treble clef, are going to start from the bottom and we've got five lines. And the sentence is going to be grizzly bears don't fear anything. So grizzly, G is the first line, bears, B is the second line, don't, D is the third line, fear, F is the fourth line, and anything, A is the top line. For the spaces, we've got all cows eat grass. So A is the first space, cows, C is the second space, eat, E is the third space, and grass, G is the fourth space. Now again, it's totally up to you whether you want to use these sentences or a different sentence and whether you just want to work with the lines and work out the spaces by going a step up or a step down from the lines. From personal experience and teaching children and adults as well, I think these sentences can work miracles, especially in the first few months of your piano journey, because it can be very tricky to memorize so many notes so quickly. And many times you can't read skips and steps because we have big jumps in certain songs. So these sentences are going to help you to identify notes very quickly. Now let's see what happens if we go off the stave. Now what does that mean? Going off the stave means that a note is not on any of the lines or spaces anymore, it's above it. And as you could see in the previous lessons for middle C, we were using a little line called the ledger line. So whenever we run out of space on the stave and we have to write a note higher and higher, we use more and more ledger lines. And when we have to write lower, we use ledger lines in the bottom. Just as an example, let's have a look at this little note here, which is situated on the third ledger line above the stave in the treble clef. The sentence doesn't go quite so high up. So we know but from the sentence that the last line in the treble clef is an F because every good boy deserves food and then we can see that it's two more ledger lines up. So if I know that the top line is an F, I can go up one skip to the next ledger line which would be an A 
Then I can go up one more skip to the next ledger line, which is going to be a C, one more skip to the next ledger line, which is an E, and so on. So I can just use skips or steps to navigate myself above the staff. Use these sentences to identify notes until you familiarize yourself with the staff, the spaces, and the lines. And again, if something is a little bit further up, higher or lower, then work your way up with skips or steps. If you enjoy this lesson, make sure to check out the premium version of this course, which is going to include a free method book, lots of filmed video tutorials for sight reading exercises, technical exercises, performance pieces, and best of all, you're going to get personal feedback from me to make sure your progress is as smooth and efficient as it can get.